Hi friends! I hope you enjoyed the 4th of July celebration. The festivities in Granville did not disappoint, and my family and I enjoyed being in the thick of it. We spent a lot of time on our front porch watching families and children ride the carousel and the spinning teacups and the race cars. The noisy dragon wagon was a little bit farther down the street this year, but the operator who likes to get the kids pumped up by shouting, are you ready? was running the race cars this year, so we got to see and hear him anyway. Today I want to share with you a prayer for our nation by Woodrow Wilson. Uncle Woody, as I like to call him, even though we're not related. <laughs> Thomas Woodrow Wilson was born in 1856 in Staunton, Virginia. He grew up in Georgia and South Carolina during the Civil War and its aftermath, which of course made a huge impact on his perspective. He was also deeply influenced by faith. His father was a Presbyterian pastor. Wilson graduated from the College of New Jersey, later to become Princeton University, in 1879. He then studied law at the University of Virginia and was admitted to the Georgia Bar in 1882. He didn't like practicing law, however, <laughs> and so he went back to school and studied government and history at the Johns Hopkins University, and he earned his PhD there in 1886. He's the only U.S. president to have a PhD. Wilson was sworn in as the President of the United States in 1913. He led our involvement in World War I, and in 1919 he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. He participated in the Paris Peace Talks that ended the First World War, and he advocated for the League of Nations to maintain world peace. Under Wilson's administration, the federal income tax the Federal Reserve, and the Federal Trade Commission were established. And a piece of trivia, Wilson was the first to hold a presidential press conference. He was nicknamed the schoolmaster in politics because he was a professor and he was the president of Princeton University. He is chiefly remembered for his high-minded idealism. You can hear that idealism mixed with an acknowledgement of reality in his prayer. I couldn't pinpoint a date for this prayer, but I think that you'll find it is timeless. This is a prayer for our country by Woodrow Wilson. Almighty God, ruler of all the peoples of the earth, forgive our shortcomings as a nation Purify our hearts to see and love the truth. Give wisdom to our leaders and steadfastness to our people. And bring us at last to that fair city of peace whose foundations are mercy, justice, and goodwill, of which you are the designer and the builder. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again next week.